Hey there, Lisa Niven Kelly here for Beachcation.com with a quick product video on how to use our bezel setting punch set, also known as a bezel burnisher set. So look what we have in here. These are all bits that when pressed over a small bezel will bring the edges of your bezel in really, really nicely and really evenly. It's kind of a lot of awesomeness happening here. So the way these work is you pick the correct size and they go from 0.75 all the way up to 7.75. And you can either use the little handle or not. Sometimes if I'm using a stone that I know is very sturdy and not gonna break, I'll just leave it outside the handle and tap it with my plastic mallet. Or you can use the handle. It's just got a nice chuck here that opens and closes to tighten down on it. You slide the little piece in and tighten it down. And then if you're doing it by hand, you've got a really nice grasp on this and get good leverage on it. So let me show you how to set a bezel. I will go ahead and pull one over and do that now. So I've got here a little sterling silver blank that I've soldered on a three millimeter bezel cup. You can see it there. It's a pre-made bezel cup that we also sell. It's soldered right on there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe stamp on it. Although I probably would have stamped on it before I put the bezel on, but just got it here to show you how to use this tool. So this little three millimeter garnet, and I'm just gonna pick it up. I already know that it's the perfect size for what I want to do here. And pop it right in there. The wall size is exactly how I want it. And that looks great. It's pressed down all the way. Now we have a class on setting these bezels and we talk more about the height of the wall of the bezel as well as how to add a lift in there, how to bring the wall down. But for now, I'm just showing you this tool. All right, so that guy is set right in there perfectly. Now, this is a three millimeter bezel cup, like I said. I chose the four millimeter setting bit here because the three mil is exactly three mil and I wanna be a little bit larger so that when I come on top of it, it will bring it down rather than just sit on the very, very top. So I can come in here and with my hands press down lightly as I spin this and it will bring the wall in. So this bezel is actually fine silver and it's been soldered on. So, and it's very thin. So all those three things added up mean it's very, very soft because I just soldered it. I basically kneeled it. So it's very, very soft. So I should be able to pull the wall of this bezel in very easily by pressing down with the tool. Another thing that you can do if you're not worried about the stone cracking, if it's a nice hard stone, because cracking your stone is a bummer and crystals, if you're using any Swarovski crystals are very, very sensitive is instead of just using your hand and the pressure of your hand, um, I would actually get on top of it like this, but I'm doing it like this so you can see and I'm not hiding it with my hand. You can come in and tap it down with a hammer. I wouldn't tap it really, really hard. It would literally just be like this, really, really light taps. So I know that garnet's pretty uh, hard, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it that way. I can see the wall being pulled in already. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see it a little bit better. So you can see here that the wall has already come up and over the stone really, really nicely. And if I wanted to continue with my hand, I could come in and really, I mean, again, I moved my hand out of the way so you can see, but I would spin it as I'm pushing it down. It's actually burnishing as well, the edges of the bezel. It's gonna leave it nice and shiny. And there you go, nice and set. The bezel has formed around the stone, the perfect height, and with a nice tight hug there, so that stone is not coming out.